Hi, welcome to our series, Deep Talks, as we kind of go deep into some of the uh, questions of life that people have. And the one we have this morning, it's different than our last one, which was, is there evidence for the resurrection? This one's more personal. The question is, and people have asked, will God forgive me for my divorce? The short answer is yes. One could almost end this with that short question. Um, God forgives anything that we've done as long as we're honestly, legitimately repentant for it. And repentant means not some emotion, but just that we wish we could go back and do things differently, that we wish we could take a U-turn in life. And so whether it's divorce or anger or a whole host of other things, God forgives all of it. But there is a danger, and that danger is we can't ever count on that before we do it. Oh, I know it's wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway. God will forgive me at the end. That's, that's not a good attitude to have. It's, it's called, in the Old Testament, sinning with a high hand, just, just depending on God's forgiveness and using that as a pretext for what we do. We must never do that. But we realize that there are victims in life, and there are victims in divorce. And often, if you're one of those people and um, you wanted the marriage to continue and, and you're a victim of it, but you're battling this feeling of inadequacy or will God forgive me? I want to assure you um, that he will. Um, that uh, there is life after any wrong that we do. We encourage you to uh, keep going and staying faithful. Let me just say one thing about it. We often lose focus, even as a church. We concentrate on the bad of divorce. Divorce is icky, therefore we shouldn't do it. And I think we lose sight. We forget that the reason that we want to say divorce is uh, maybe not the best option is not because divorce is bad. It's because we think marriage is good. And I want to keep our focus on that. In Luke and in Matthew, Jesus talks about divorce. And Paul in Corinth talks about divorce. And sometimes we think that when we read those passages, that the purpose is that those people are giving us rules for when it's okay to get a divorce. And I think that's wrong. They both are in the middle of a culture where divorce had become easy and commonplace and something that wasn't even thought about. It would just, oh, if it doesn't work out, ah, I'll get a divorce. And in some ways, we're back to a culture that's like that a lot today. It was a corrective that was needed. They were not giving rules for when divorce was okay. They were valuing marriage in a time when people didn't value marriage. And if I can go out on a limb here, let me say in our culture, maybe we don't value marriage like we should. You know, if you listen to a lot of the culture out there, you would think that divorce rate was 50%. Can I tell you a truth? The divorce rate has never, ever been 50% in our culture. It peaked around 1981 or 82 at 39%, and it's dropped since then. Divorce rate's actually 30% right now. That's too high, but it's not 50. Let me tell you how that works. If you have eight people, maybe let's say eight elderly ladies in Florida, and they all play pinochle together on Tuesday morning, and all eight have been married all their lives, what's the divorce rate? Well, 0%. And then one of the ladies dies, and they need to find someone else to join their group, and who joins them? the actress Elizabeth Taylor. Now you ask the same question. How many marriages are at the, how many women are at the table? Eight. How many divorces? Eight. That doesn't mean the divorce rate is 100%. There's still only one out of eight that's ever been divorced. But sometimes people tell you things because they have an interest. They want other people to join them in their failure so they don't feel as bad about it. Let me just say one thing. There's a reason why people smile and go, ah, when they go to a 50th wedding anniversary and the elderly couple comes in and holding hands, and they give each other a kiss and everybody smiles and their hearts are warmed. Their hearts are warmed because what they're witnessing is good and what they're witnessing is holy. And I can get, guarantee you there are probably some rough days in those 50 years for any couple that makes it that far. But divorce is not bad because it's bad. It's because it's an ending of the good. And so we're big believers in marriage. I want to encourage you in every way. But if you're a victim, I want you to know God does and will forgive you. Join us back in a couple weeks as we'll take on another topic. If you have a question, please send it to us. Um, like, subscribe. That way you'll know when we have a new deep talk coming up. 
But thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to you joining us for our next one.